Hey programmers, this is Eric, and today we're going to look at the JSON serializer, and not to confuse this with the JSON API serializer in, in Ember.js. So you can see here in using the JSON serializer class that we expect our data coming back from the server to be in this JSON format. And you can see here is an ID one, name, friends, and you can have anything you want here as long as you have the IDs in order. You can optionally have links. We're not going to worry about that right now. But what we're going to do is we want to take the JSON serializer and change the way the URL where it gets the information from, from a server to a flat file that we're going to have in our public directory. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the way we're going to really take a look at that, and this is the API documentation. You can always go to emberjs.com slash API to take a look at it. And we're in Ember data. But if we go to the strings, if we go to, I'll show you this in a second. We're going to look at HTML safe. But we can look at the REST adapter. And as we know, the JSON serializer is uh, inherits from this REST adapter. And inside the REST adapter, we have this something called URL for find all. And so by convention, when you use Ember data and you're going to fetch certain things and you're using find all in your route, it assumes that the URL is usually the name of the, of the route or the, the model that you give it, that is. Um, you can override that by overriding URL for find all. So I went ahead and just grabbed an excerpt of text from Wikipedia. You can see it from here. And then I copied it to a flat file. So I went ahead and here's my Vim here. So if I go into my public folder, and inside my public folder, I look at the articles.json file. I went ahead and created a JSON. Let's see it here. And it's just really simple. It just uh, is an array here, has an object. It's um, the ID, batch complete, has title, and then has the extract of the data there. And so that's in my public folder. Now, to customize Ember so we can actually read it, I went into my adapters. I'm into my application adapter. Let me close this. And I have this URL for find all. So what I do is I define my DS REST adapter. And inside there, I put the URL for find all method. And instead of returning, I return article.json, which is the, the file inside the public folder. So this is one way you can override it here. And then I want to make sure I use the JSON. So I have to go into the serializers here. And I have to make sure that I set this to the, D, uh, the JSON serializer. And after I do those two things, now I can go ahead and and make sure I uh, get the correct information. So I created a model, and all I really care about is the title and and the extract, as you can see here. And then inside my route, I created a new route called articles, and then I did the this dot store dot find all, and this is where I did the URL dot find all be earlier. This is where I. Um, this is the method that I'm using to grab all the articles. I only have one, but if I had more, I could get them from there. And I'm getting it from the model article that I have right here. And then I created an article uh, HBS file, handlebars file, and I'm just going through the model. Because if we know we look back at the route. We're returning. This is the model. We have access to the model inside the inside the template. So inside here, I'm just iterating through the model and showing the title. And the ex the extract is actually, as you can see from here, it has these has all the HTML in there. But we won't actually want to show the HTML if we don't um, if we just put in m dot extract here. It won't show it. It'll just put it in quotes. So I created a helper called parse. So if you go to parse here, all this does is it returns ember.string.html safe. It, so it takes the params that are coming in, which would be the text, and then it converts it and returns it over using the HTML safe. And that just, as we I was talking about earlier, 
it just makes the string safe and unescaped output with emperor templates. So this is how you can take it and actually grab the HTML back out. And at the end of it all, it looks like this. So I'm just running this on localhost. I have the server running. And so it grabbed the extract, it grabbed the title, and then here's the extract HTML as we expect it to be. If we look at Ember, our Ember inspector, and we go to data, we can see it actually shows up as one of our IDs which is really cool, and you can see the extract here with the tags in them. So that's just a quick overview. I'll go ahead and add this. Uh, you can see the links below. I'll have the code on GitHub. But that's just a really simple way to go in and, and use a JSON file from your hard drive, um, flat file, and then load it through Ember Data so you can use it in your program. So once again, thanks.